attacked at the convergence of the Sierra Nevada and El Paso Range along Highway 14, Red Rock Canyon State Park is not a place you can easily miss. Astounding multi-ledger pillars with alcoves on every layer tower over desert land just a few feet away from the busy road. The era first grabbed my attention a few years ago when we were heading to the Mammoth Lakes region and later Lake Tahoe. The red pinkish pillars popped up out of nowhere. Mesmerizing and looking rather odd in this deserted terrain, they pull travels at once. An area that reminds of imposing hoodoos of Bryce Canyon National Park, Red Rock Canyon State Park shares one more similarity with its famous Utah's look-alike. The park is relatively small, only 27,000 acres. You can see and photograph the mesmerizing desert buttes from different angles in a couple of hours. It may take an additional hour or two to hike some of the easiest trails. Visitors that randomly stumble upon the vibrant formations while driving along Highway 14 can fit the entire Red Rock Canyon experience in a few minutes. The vivid desert rocks of Higgin Canyon with an adjacent parking lot make for a quick sightseeing stop and a short hike up the cliffs. We spent an entire day in Red Rock Canyon State Park, going astray from the short Ricardo Nature Trail and ending up at the edge of the cliff, exploring real and not so real caves and getting our car stuck in loose sand, it was an adventure we would probably never forget. We started our day adventures with hiking the desert trail nestled in front of the visitor center. The Ricardo Nature Trail is short, only a one-mile loop and virtually flat. The path runs through the desert toward the towering buttes near Ricardo Campground. In spring, after a wet winter, the area is dotted with blooming wildflowers. And this scene alone is worth driving all the way to Red Rock Canyon and spending a day admiring the desert you may have never seen before. Somehow we stranded from the official path and climbed all the way to the rim of the cliff. From here the whole park was in full view. After lingering a few minutes at the top, Dylan and I trod back. The boy was eager to discover caves at the bottom of the buttes. In this part of the park, the buttes are mostly white with some yellowish undertone. The red color is rare. In fact, we didn't see any red rock formations. But the pillars were as impressive as elsewhere in the park. We swirled from the main trail and followed a few side trails into the butte maze. Actually, 
lots of alcoves, but no caves were of hidden here. Or maybe we just missed one. We finally found a real cave in the Hagen Canyon. The area abounds with the signature red pinkish sandstone cliffs and buttes. It's a beautiful place to stop along Highway 14 for a quick exploration. Let's go to the car. Okay. 